Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an NTP server so that you can uh, you can host time on your local network from one of your own servers. So we're going to be doing that from the NetServe machine, and we're going to be uh, connecting that with uh, all my other servers: file serve, auth serve, mail serve, and those things. So uh, everything will be synchronized on the network, and uh, everybody's going to be using the same time. So it's pretty simple to do. It's not too bad. So uh, I'll just walk you through it and uh, talk about it as I go. First thing is you need to make sure that NTP is installed. So NTP, well it already is on mine. This is CentOS and it's installed by default. How do you know which NTPD? NTPD is the NTP daemon. So check that out. It's already there. Okay, next thing we need to do. Let's go into the config file and make some changes. So that is an etsy ntp.conf. And I already made the changes here, so uh, I'll just show you what I did. Okay, Hosts on local network are less restricted. So this was commented before. So I uncommented this, and I put in my local network there. Okay, So that's one line you want to change. Right? And anytime I'm going through this, if uh, you know, you can stop the video, pause it, and then, uh, you know, if you're doing it, if you're following along, make the changes that uh, you know that are relevant for you. The only other thing I did here is that the default is uh, server zero one two three, and they're all from the pool. Okay, so what I did here is I instead of the uh, server three from the pool, I went and I put the loopback address. That means that if my internet goes down but my local network is still up, it's still going to be serving from the hardware clock. Uh, from the local uh, loopback address there. Other thing, iBurst, this is also default. This is uh, for quicker synchronization. Okay, That's that. Two changes you need to make for the config file. It's not that bad at all. All right. Next thing you need to do is you need to make it persistent. So when you reboot, then you want the NTP daemon to start. How do you do that? Check config, ntpd on. That's it. You're good to go. Let's double check that. Check config list grep ntpd. And it, you can see that ntpd is for run levels 2 through 5 is on. Okay, so that's good to go. Service, we want to start it up right now. ntpd start. Okay. And next thing you want to do for that is uh, let's go and make a firewall rule, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go system, config, firewall. You only need the firewall rule on your NTP server machine. Your clients who are going to be getting the, uh, the time, they don't need the firewall rule. But you do need it on your server. And it's not in trusted services. You need to go and you need to go into other ports and uh, add. Now it's 123 UDP. So I already did it. Okay, but you're going to add 123 UDP. Okay, that's all you do. And you cancel out of that. And there you go. You have your new firewall rule. All right, after that, exit out of that. Make sure you save it. Okay, so now your firewall is set up for NTP. Okay, and let's just service ntpd status okay it's up and running how can we check and make sure that it's up and running ntp stat all right shows that we are synchronized time correct within 111 milliseconds so it's been running so uh it's uh the longer it runs the more it's gonna time is gonna be uh correct to within it's gonna be shorter all right so after this we uh, should be good on the server machine here. One other thing you can do to check it is go uh, ntpq-p and you can see uh, the local host at the bottom right? and that's, uh, that's going to take the place of the other ones should my internet connection go down as long as the local network is still up. Okay, So that's that and uh, there is your NTP server working on the uh, on the server. So now what we need to do is we need to go over to our clients and make sure that they can access the NTP server and make sure that you're going to be all the configurations are as you want them to be. 
So what we need to do is make it persistent first, check config. Okay, well let's which ntpd. Okay, just make sure that it's on there. If it's not, yum install ntp or apt get install, whatever your distribution works with. But the, the package name should be ntp. All right. So what we're going to do is check config ntpd on. Okay. And after that, service ntpd start. Okay. And it's already going, it's running. Next thing we're going to do is let's go into the config file. So vi etsy ntp.conf. Right. And I made a couple changes in this one. So uh, let me just show you what I did. The only thing that I really did here was I, I see server zero centos pool ntp.org. Okay, these are the default. But what I did is I put in my own server here, 172.20.0.2. Okay, I bursts for initial configuration or initial synchronization. But then I put the prefer keyword at the end. That means that regardless of all these other ones, if the 172.20.0.2 is up, it's going to uh, prefer and work from that one. Okay. This is your client uh, NTP config file, and that's all you need to do. Just make sure that you're pointing to your server there. I mean, I could remove all these centos pool ntp.orgs, but then uh, if the uh, you know the net serve goes down, then you're just not going to get any time. So this way you're kind of uh, covering your backside if you uh, have more than one server to pull from. But just remember, prefer, and that is going to make sure that you're pulling from that one first. Okay. After that, we'll save that or just save it, and. Uh, now let's go NTP stat, and you see they're synchronized to NTP server, and that is the NetServe local machine, and uh, time correct to within 162 milliseconds. Now one thing I want to do, let me just uh, restart this NTP, uh, the daemon on this uh, mail server virtual machine, and you'll see how the uh, how it's a little different. So service NTPD restart. Okay now. Let's go NTP stat. Okay, so what I want to show you is where it says NTP stat time correct to within 162 milliseconds. That's because it was, it's already been running for a couple minutes. So now, do you see that time correct to within 1,096 milliseconds? That's because I just started it up, and it's synchronizing. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get to uh, where your milliseconds, you know, where you're really close, you know, like. 162 milliseconds, so that's uh, significantly better than 1096. That's because it's been running for a couple minutes, where the one that I just did, we just started it up again, and that is uh, restarting the NTP server. So that's it, and now let's just do a quick NTPQ-P, and you can see there netserve.localnet, okay, that's the machine that I'm pulling it from, and the delay, you see that's pretty good, 0.214. Alright, and uh, that's it. So what I showed you is how to set up the NTP server on the uh, NetServe machine. Alright, and from the mail serve here, showed you how to connect and just make a, you know, just a couple quick changes in that ntp.conf file so that uh, you're pointing to the actual server that you want to, you know, your local server instead of something on the internet. And we are, you can see that. You can see that how? via NTP stat and via NTPQ P. All right? So NTP up and running, client and server. And uh, that's all I had for you here. So stay tuned for future videos.